Greetings, my dear friends in the Lord Jesus. This is H.D. McCarty, your old Razorback rabbi, uh, coming to you with another word about the meat, the joy, the fullness of Jesus Christ. I came up with a great new definition, at least I think that, of fulfillment. What is fulfillment? Fulfillment is thinking about everything with the mind of Christ. If you and I can think about everything the way Christ thinks about it, we're fulfilled. We handle our suffering, we handle the world's evil, we handle our battles, we handle our health, we handle our financial problems, we handle our inner doubts. Everything is solved by thinking about it the way Christ would think. That's why Paul said in Philippians 5, let the same mind that was alive in Jesus Christ come alive in you. Well, that happens all through the scripture, but especially for me in this great Psalm 103, one of my favorite psalms by King David. And he ends the psalm up with these three verses, four praises. Now, what is a praise? A praise is a an uncontrollable joy that you can't hold in. You just want to, oh, Father, thank you. I'm in awe of you. I'm impressed. I'm speechless. Thank you for all you are. I praise you for all you've done and are doing and will do and that you've included me. Now that's what praise really means. And of course there's more, but we don't have time to get into the Hebrew and some of the illustrations. But David said there are four things he praises uh, that God should be praised for, all right? The first one, praise the Lord, all of his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding. Boy, that's pretty good. David said, man, if God's going to get his glory, he ought to be praised by all the angels, the mighty ones who do his bidding. In other words, the messengers of heaven. Praise the God of heaven. Secondly, David said, praise the Lord, uh, all his hosts, you his servants who do his will. Well, that's the saints. Now, you minister to him, one translation says. You really serve God. That, that's all the Christians everywhere, the ministers of God. We're here on this earth to serve him. That's what the word minister really means. Jesus was a minister servant and a slave servant, the, the, the scripture points out. And so uh, everyone who ought to praise God is first the angels of heaven, the messengers. Second, all the Christians that are alive, the saints, uh, the ministers of his will. And thirdly, David said, praise the Lord all of his works everywhere in his dominion. Every day. What on earth would he mean by the works? You know what I came up with here? I know you're going to think it's a little funny, but I would think the word there is muscles. Praise God for all the muscles he's put in his creation to control it all the way it ought to be controlled. And you say, well, man, where did you get that? I was talking to my doctor not long ago, and I have a little problem called post-polio syndrome. I almost died from polio when I was 13, and yet eight years later, I passed an Air Force flight physical and ended up a jet pilot for the Lord led me into the seminary to be a pastor. And... Uh, I thought, oh, good night. Uh, what on earth word can I use that will speak of all the works that God has done? And the word that came to me as I talked to my doctor, she explained the muscles of my body, that uh, there are two different kinds. Some uh, just make the stomach and the heart work, and then there's other muscles that lift your arm. Muscle expand and retract. The expanding and retracting forces on earth. David said, praise God for all he set up on this creation that work. They get big, they get small, whatever's necessary. Man, did that thrill me. 
And then the last one, praise the Lord, O oh my soul, me. I can really lift God and make him wonderful in my life. Well, there's a thought, my dear friend. Praise that you and I are included in what God is doing. And David says it. Man, may everything on this earth and in heaven, his messengers, his ministers, the muscles he's created and put on earth, and me. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good package, isn't it? If you, you can't really think of anything better than that, can you? Father, thank you for how the Word of God speaks to us in every way. And uh, as I pray today, I thank you for the muscles that you put in me and uh, how uh, the medicine is helping me restore my muscles after this disease. And thank you that you will restore all of us through your spiritual muscles. You'll work things that we don't know you're working, like our heart and our digestive system and our lungs, with the muscles that we don't have to tell to do a thing. And you'll also strengthen us with the muscles that enable us to walk and to lift uh, and to do the things that we feel we need to do for you. Thank you for again for your word and how rich and powerful it is to each of us. And put your muscles in us. And may we, me, be a praiser of the living God. Amen.